Today I will speak about acceptance. Acceptance is a very feminine quality, a, fe a very feminine trait. A masculine trait would be proactive action, attack, initiative. Creativity based on initiative, new ideas, new beginnings. <clears throat> seeding. Masculine trait would be seeding. A feminine trait of acceptance is passive. Is passive. You just accept. You don't dominate. You play a secondary role. Secondary. Very fundamental. Very housekeeping. Very big and fundamental. Like the earth. Like, like the universe. The universe is feminine. The earth is feminine. The feminine... The woman's body is feminine. It accepts the initiative, accepts the idea, accepts the new fire. <laughs> Acceptance is key to strength. Acceptance is a key the key to strength to become strong focus on your acceptance accepting in the heart forgiving accepting in the body accepting the energy is the key to strength There is always energy available. It is only how you define yourself may prevent you from taking and accepting this energy. There is always plenty of love. It's only how you define yourself may be preventing you from accepting this love. We will start with a little meditation, an initiation, an initiation. I invite you to accept love, to accept the energy of your ancestors. So you, if you wish to have more energy available, accept the energy of your ancestors. It is available for you. It is only for you to open yourself up to be accepting it. <laughs> um. Relax, put yourself in receptive mode, relax, relax, make a little attempt to be symmetrical, to accept a symmetrical position.
not critical, but if comfortable. <clears throat> Breathe deeply. Mm. At your own pace, slowly and deeply, accept the energy from the air. Consciously pay attention to your breath. Concentrate on your childhood. Shift, smile. Enjoy a memory of your childhood. I am coming to you and holding your hands, both of your hands. Remember your favorite parent and accept their energy, accept the connection to them, accept the connection to them. It doesn't really matter. It's okay. It's not critical for them to be in this body now or out of body. The energy is available, the etheric, spiritual, <clears throat> ancestral, energetic energy is available either way. So receive, accept it. Just agree accept it The energy comes through the root chakra, between your legs, into your spine, into your tailbone. That's the entrance. The energy is coming to your spine. Accept it. Remember the other parent. See, their energy is acceptable as well. It is available for you. Choose to take that energy as well. It doesn't really matter if you knew your second parent, if they are in this world or the other world, the energy is yours through your DNA, through your inheritance. You have the DNA from your mother and the father, and energy is yours. It doesn't matter if the relationships with your parents were one way or another. You are entitled to receive the energy. So accept it. It is health, it is energy, it is luck, it is support. <clears throat> Often it is blocked by conflicts, misunderstandings, and choices of both of you, all of you. But now, you can choose to connect to the energy and accept it to your benefit, to your health, for your spiritual growth as you need it. It is a way of grounding, a way of connecting to the roots. 
So accept the energy from the second parent. It's coming through your tailbone, through your root chakra. <clears throat> No, accept it. Now, move to the grandparents, all four of them, all of four of them are available, the energy of them, their energy is available for you, their love, their strength is all yours. Just smile, just relax, just choose to receive it, it's all yours, it's health, strength, support, luck love, ancestral love, ancestral strength. And, uh, it's all coming through the root chakra. You see, with acceptance, with forgiveness, you get access to lots more energy. It is for you to change. It's for you to desire, to change, to accept, to grow. It is a happy process. It is a loving process of awakening of accepting, of taking in energy. Your DNA, your body, your cells are capable of health, are capable of growing spiritually, of harmonizing, integrating, energizing. Warming up, singing, singing, playing music, shining, glowing. It is an upgrade, and you're entitled to it. <clears throat> now move to Great grandparents, so you have two parents, four grandparents, and eight grand great grandparents, eight great grandparents. All eight of them are equal. All eight of them give their energy to you. Forgive all of them. Accept all of them. Love all of them. Unite with their energy.
now move further. 2, 4, 8, 16 ancestors, 32 ancestors, 64 ancestors, 128, 254, 512, 1028, 2056, and so on. First generation, second generation, third generation, in the past, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. 9, 10th, 11th, 12th, and so on. <clears throat> we are moving closer to early ages, to the times of Christ. Many generations ago. <clears throat> 20, 25 generations ago. All of this energy is yours. All of this wisdom is yours. All of this love and support is yours. <clears throat> Take it, accept it, receive it, embrace it, drink it, breathe it, be it. You are of the same substance as them. You are of the same energy as them. You have the same sequence, DNA sequence, same genetic code as them. <clears throat> I invite you, accept all of this energy. I'm just initiating, just opening the door. It's for you to change and for you to accommodate, accept, integrate, receive, build in, write in, resonate with this energy. <laughs> just a little bit not more dangerous than not having energy not more dangerous than not having energy <clears throat> they come to you with all their experience and knowledge some of them high and wise spiritual and enlightened some of them confused, disoriented, limited, but it is all love, all love, all divine energy. It's up to you to incorporate, integrate, absorb, make it whole. It's all yours. So as you change, as you transmute, as you shift, as you energize, relax, receive, and play it by ear, play it by adjusting. It would take some shifts and adjustments and bumps to incorporate it, but it's all yours. You would have to recalibrate, reevaluate your habits, your values, beliefs, habits, traditions, routines, your routines your safety precautions because it's a little bit more than you it's a little bit different from you you are shifting you are changing as you shift and change you step out of the comfort zone and that's the only way to survive it is safer not than not to step out of the comfort zone it is safer to change than to stay still 
it is safer and healthier to change than to stay still. It is healthier to transform, to transmute. Because the world is shifting, the matrix is shifting. Catch up with the shift. Ride the wave. Be with the wave. Be in the flow. Accept, accept, accept. Be in the flow. <clears throat> with that, we are ending this little meditation, instruction, initiation. Place your palms on your heart. <clears throat> be at peace, be relaxed, be receptive. Be in balance. Be in balance. Be in balance. Be in peace. Be in love, be in love. Allah <clears throat> and here we have a break for your comments and questions. I invite to speak any of you. <clears throat> Say your name. Hi. Hi, hi, Yogananda. Thank you. This is Eva. Eva, hi. Hi. So I have two questions. And I love Let's start asking. with one at a time. Yes. Okay. So I will... One. No, you get into two questions, Yogananda. Two it together. Okay. So one is about my personal... Um, I've been coughing for like three weeks and having runny nose for maybe months now. So there's something I'm not learning and um, acceptance is actually a big thing for me. So thank you for bringing this subject. Um, and about this subject, my question is, um, in my assumption world, spirit, spiritual growth comes also with opening in compassion which means I would assume that people who call themselves spiritual or they are really increasing their vibrations, they would also stop eating animals as eating animals comes with a lot of suffering. But it seems not to be always the case. So I'd like to, to you to just just help me with this subject I, I want to kind of know more understand more if it's okay with you thank you so much in advance thank you thank you good questions so there was one question i guess about the cough right yes three weeks of cough and like mm -hmm. months of runny nose i don't know if it's Allergies, what am I doing to myself wrong? Give me half a minute.
<clears throat> First, <laughs> accept it. Accept, relax about it. It's okay, it is fine. There is nothing, especially, nothing especially negative about it. It's not a danger, an infection. It's not the attack from outside. It is something which is serving you in many ways. It is like crying through nose. It's like crying through lungs. It is healthy release of trauma through the fluids. It is healthy to cough and sneeze for you at this period of time. It is also a DNA upgrade, an infection which is actually upgrading your DNA. It is an upgrade, it is the side effect of an upgrade. Another useful component of it is that, is that coughing stimulates your heart. You are often low of heart energy. There is too much sadness and restriction there, so coughing wakes it up, shakes it up. You need more oxygen. You need to change the balance in your body for between less oxygen and more food and water to more oxygen and less food and water by not eating less, by, by breathing more. <clears throat> so it is an upgrade for your lungs and breathing system. You need to get more of the air energy, more of the oxygen energy. So you are upgrading. Now it's time to slow down the coughing and sneezing. One of the causes of your sneezing is that you shifted to a higher vibration and now your body treats some of your air components such as dust, organic materials, spring, allergy, pollen, your body treats it as foreign unfriendly matter, which is a mistake. So you need to relax that mistake, relax the mistake of your immune system, relax the immune system to accepting pollen and organic matter in the air as something benign, not dangerous. It's not infection, it is just nature, just plants, which are neutral to you. So it is a mistake which needs to be relaxed and fixed by accepting. So accept pollen as neutral to you. It's not dangerous. Pollen doesn't infect you, doesn't grow in you. And bring some DNA, but it, this DNA is good for you. It's not infectious. It's not the infection. It's not air aggressive infection. So relax, accept it, receive it. Step towards the plants and work with them, speak to them, accept, receive them, receive. The organic substance in the air is benign, neutral, no worry, no worry, no reason for sneezing. Relax. You're good. Now you should be at peace. Be at peace. Adjust. Adjust. Be at peace. 
let me come and um, give you a little rake on your lungs and breathing system. Or you call it, you can call it Ayurveda yogic healing. It's all grows from the same origins. I give you some energy in your breathing system. Alham. The lungs receive accept. <coughs> You're moving through a spiral, and now the cycle of coughing and sneezing should end and give you time to accept accommodate, integrate the energies, integrate the DNA without coughing and sneezing. A new set of cells, a new comfortable healthy cells, replace the sick cells. New tissues in your lungs and your throat and your Nose replace the uh, old ones. It's all now upgraded, happy, fresh, young, relaxed. It is a stage of rebalancing, peace and comfort and health. <laughs> Work with candles. Have a candle with you to collect the negativity and give you the fire energy needed for peace, rebalancing, recovery, recovery, recovery. Work with sun, morning sun, evening sun. Sunrises, sunsets are beautiful, healing energy, fire energy, orange energy, yellow energy, especially for your lungs. The air highlighted, fired up with the sunset, sunrise is healing for your lungs, for your throat, for your sinuses. Um, Work with a campfire, bonfire, fireplace, fire, little, big fire. Stay safe, but work with it. Breathe it. Breathe the smoke in a healthy way, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Pine, oak. Birch. Just burn some wood and that would help you. When you meditate for a short while, for five, ten minutes, place your palm on your area above the heart, upper side of your chest, upper area of your chest, and send the healing energy to that area. Normalize the cells, lymphatic flow, blood, normalize, normalize, accept, receive, heal. It's time for Balance, time for health.
What was your second question? About the animals, right? Yes. Forgive, accept. You are living on Earth in the first half of 21st century. It's still very backward. It is still very backward. It's still very dense. The scene of eating animals, it's not the worst scene of the humans because they are doing much worse than that. Much worse than that. They're killing humans. They are wasting their lives. They're harming themselves. They are living the life in anger. They destroy the environment long term, damaging the environment long term. And the main thing, they're stuck in their spiritual path altogether. The humanity is stuck. It is in a crisis. That's the major scene. It is a scene against the creation because all the potential is now being wasted and dangerous all the love the humanity received all the support the humanity received is now in danger that's the main trouble yet yes the humanity is still backward backward very ancient Understand, for a long time, for humanity, eating animals was a step forward, not step backward. For a long time, eating animals for humanity was a God-given blessing. The animals were created, the cow was created for a human to sustain in dark times. It's not only giving human, giving the humans food. It has given humans the example of peace, acceptance, acceptance, acceptance. The cow is the symbol of acceptance. Given milk, given their body in full acceptance, it is a symbol of service. Being a part of the family and then giving all of your body to support humans. It is a symbol. Same with chickens. They ignore, ignore the fear of death. They just pretend not to know. They just pretend not to know. They're designed not to be scared. They are designed to live happily, being very social, and then dying in ignorance. <laughs> Same as Lam. All of those who are given to humans by gods and aliens to sustain the humanity in the dark times. And the dark times still continue. Even the darkness is one of the strongest now. So it is uh, still an option, still a blessing from gods. It was a step forward from eating plants only because at that moment it was a question of survival. You see, the cow doesn't only give their meat and milk to the human. It also gives that sense of peace and acceptance through its substance. Milk and beef and uh, meat are transmuting the human. You are what you eat, so you become it. You become a cow, you become a pig, you become a chicken. Much of their DNA is working through 
the human system. Some of that becomes incorporated, some of that become, resonates, resonates and brings the tunes into the body. So some bodies, even of the light workers, just cannot function in a new way through plants and light. Just cannot because of the old programs, old designs. To shift into the new vegetarian diet, one has to change the lifestyle so, so much that they become disconnected from humanity. They have to create a crystalline environment, crystalline environment, crystalline environment. It's not possible for many. Many still have to go to a job, be involved, be involved with their mainstream life. Traveling is almost impossible when you are on vegetarian diet. <laughs> so, on my opinion, on my opinion, that's okay, it's all right. Eat whatever is healthy for you. When you eat, be thankful to whatever you eat. Unite with it. You continue their life. You continue their purpose. The main thing is what you intend. And the main thing is to work towards salvation of the humanity as a whole. To salvation of the purpose. The experiment is in a crisis. The matrix is in a crisis. It is a planet in a crisis. Whatever is healthy for you to help the planet. So eating animals is a minor distortion compared to total social crisis. Of course, aim at higher vibrational foods, aim at higher health. But if you have to work with the mainstream people, eat what they eat, because that is the way for you to unite with them and transform them. It's all right. When you go, become an agent of God in the mainstream. When you become an agent of God in the mainstream, do whatever the mainstream people do and transform them from within. When you see how you treat your food, they learn. Even if when they don't see how you treat your food, they learn. Because you become one with them and transform the humanity from inside. Step down towards people. Step down towards people and transform all of them together through your life and through your dreams. Through your life and through your dreams. Through your meditations. Transform. Stay healthy. Stay healthy and make others healthy through your life and through your dreams. Thank you for asking. That's all I have at the moment. I'll invite more. I have a question. Yes, what's your name? April. April. Hey. Uh, last time I spoke with you, uh, you said I had a lot of swelling in my body. And I figured I had because I eat mostly vegetarian and I Sometimes I don't eat much at all, but I drink water, and I've been doing what you said about blessing the water and telling it I love it, and, and it's all worked very well, <coughs> but I still am swollen, and I want to know if you can tell me where it's coming from, why it's happening, and if there is that while I, fit, I think there is something I can do about it, but I want to work with you to help take the swelling down. 
because you told me you would work with me for that. And you have been. Mm -hmm. And I just, <laughs> I'm confused about the other thing. I've been told that I should keep up on politics by my guides and make sure that I know all this stuff. Then you told me I had sushi in my cells. <laughs> Pay for sushi from the information. <laughs> And I thought that was funny. And I, uh, you said I don't need so much information. So I just had two questions there. Oh wow! Allah, give me a minute. Allah, Allah, ya. What's your highest excitement? Helping others get away from the terrible things they think about. How you do know? you do this? How do you achieve this? What's your way? You meditate on it. And then I root it out of their system. And then I transmute it to the positive and I transmute mine from my etheric body and my cells to the positive. Do you have access to the energy of children and animals? Animals, yes. No children. Are there children around? Yes. Is there a way you can be helpful for them and their parents? Mm, their parents are not willing. <laughs> are there any other parents which would be willing to accept help? Well, most of my friends have grown children, the younger ones. And the older ones have died. <laughs> and uh, I, go ahead. I don't have any younger, younger people around me. Yeah, that's the major, one of the major distortions in the modern Western society that grown-ups <clears throat> become separated from young people and from children. It helps in many ways for individual growth, for meditation, but <clears throat> you and children both need each other. You and children need each other. Yes, they need your energy and you need their energy. When I go out somewhere, I always wave and say hello and they wave back and we have a, a fun little interchange of stuff that goes on. I always enjoy it. That's part of the reason I go out. I'm single and I can buy myself. I live home. Maybe there are needed some volunteers somewhere. Americans like formalization and like to check on your security and your, uh, how do you call it, um, moral status. But if you go through the routines, you might get a job of a volunteer, if, if you have enough health and energy for that. Just look around that. Maybe that would be. Go into life, meeting more people and helping more people in general would be one of the healing suggestions for your lymphatic flow. You need uh, young energy. Some farm life, some gardening, some communication with uh, younger living beings, animals, children, plants, being in a flow, being in, in material healthy flow. You can be infected by young energy and that would help. Mm -hmm. Learn how to do massage to yourself. Lymphatic massage. Google 
YouTube lymphatic massage. These are a few ideas to consider. Let's move to a second question. Politics, right. Being aware and not being poisoned. It's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. But there is one simple rule. You can take on yourself only as much as healthy for you. What is good if you become sick? Your energy lowers, your vibration lowers. If you cannot keep your body in healthy vibration, you cannot help others. So tune up your filters, adjust your filters, and get as much needed information, crucial information about the earth, the global issues, as is healthy for you, and as much as you can transform, but not more than that. That's the rule. The balance between too much and you get sick, and too little and you become irrelevant. So you transform the information in yourself. Take as much as, as you can transform, but not more, because if you take more, it makes you sick and you cannot transform it because you don't have enough health. So that's the balance. Two alternatives in the balance. Too much, too little. Thank you. That helps a great deal. And also it helps to find the right kind of sources, meaning you can obtain information without poisoning yourself. So. Instead of listening to television. Don't have a television. Excellent. Instead of reading the poisonous news. I don't get the newspapers. I don't get I have a radio. <laughs> the only thing I get is like people like you off the internet and some some things off YouTube. Yeah, try the daily show. Maybe that is a proper way, but don't poison yourself with it either. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Now, how do you invite myself? How do you invite Yogananda to help with your lymphatic flow? Let me see. I come as a warm, warm feeling in your meditation. So place your hands on your belly when you meditate. Place your hands on your belly. Hmm. Light a candle. Feel the warmth of a candle and it will be that sensation. Not too hot, just a little warmth in your palm. So collect that warmth from the candle and put it on your belly. Or if you are in the sun, collect the warmth from the sun and put it on your belly. And in that movement, collecting the warmth from outside and bringing it in would be my contribution. I would inflate it, amplify it, increase it, contribute. So that would be the invitation for me. Collecting the warmth from the candle and bring it in your belly would be me and the entrance for my energy. Because warmth, peace, healing is my favorite. All right. Is it good? Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> I will take a last question, or a set of questions, unless there are urgent ones. Any 
Any more comments, questions? Hi, this is Carol. Hey, Carol. Hi. Hi, how are you? Ah, thank you. I'm in love today. Mm -hmm. We are feeling it. Mm -hmm. I was at the San Francisco Zoo uh, a couple of days ago with family and children and a whole bunch of social people. And I was in the aviary, and mm -hmm. I it seemed like my environment was changing into shooting down into Agartha, and like I was getting pulled down, and then back up with the, the birds and the plants. So I was just wondering what I was experiencing there. Mm. Can you give me a little more? I had been connecting all day with all the animals, talking to them, and and um, they looked like they were talking to me. And so I just, I think I was just getting a lot into the elementals and the animals connection, heart connection. Mm Just a sec. There is not much to say. It is kind of obvious. <clears throat> when you meet a lot of species, animal, avian species, you recognize so much human energy in them. You just recognize that it is all same, all one archetype. Just looked from a different angles. It is all the one, all same same social behaviors reflected in animals and in birds, even in reptiles, all the same. It is all the same image, just transformed a little bit here, a little bit there, adjusted, played, played. It's all one love of the creator, one play of the creator. It's all one dance. So as you dive in it, you, your matrix reality becomes melted. You see the basic, the elemental nature of it. And that's about it. It is one of the simple ways of awakening to their illusory nature of the reality, the dream nature of the matrix. It helps in many ways. You connect to the basics, connect to the basics, and see how it is all one dream transformed through a prism of perception. Transformed through a prism of perception. Multiple colors from one light. One light split in many colors. One image split in multiple images. It's all an illusion, of course. But then back, you reconnect, reassemble it into, into new harmonious dream of life. And when you reassemble it, you keep that memory of understanding the basics. And then you become a more powerful magician, more powerful magician more powerful magician, more powerful agent of God, because you have seen it being disassembled and assembled again. The world was disassembled and assembled again. Do you have any more comments or questions? 
no, on I this don't. or anything else. No, thank you. All right, thank okay. you for the prompt. Are there any other urgent questions? <coughs> Let me give you a finalizing guided meditation for another 15 minutes, maybe. Mm. <clears throat> Relax, sit comfortable, lay down comfortable, bli, comfortably, bli. <clears throat> Breathe deeply and consciously at your own pace with pleasure and fun. Breathing in more oxygen. You need more air energy, more oxygen energy, more oxygen for the fire because you are the fire. Allah, Allah. We will meditate now on the idea of flying. <laughs> are you flying in your dreams? How often are you flying in your dreams? If you are not, for you it will be an initiation into flying in your dreams. If you are, for you it will be a joyous reminder to fly more fly easier, fly happier in your dreams. Your dreams is as important for the ascension, for the transformation of humanity as your awakened state. And transform your dreams into a happier dreams. Transform your dreams into a happier state. Uplift, shift up. As you uplift your awakened state through the law of attraction, you become enlightened, lightened up, elevated. So elevate your dreams. Become a magician in your dreams. Fly, fly, easy. And the key to flying in your dreams is acceptance, relaxation, peace. Acceptance, relaxation, and peace is the key. It's all the same. You're not flying through your muscles. You're not flying through flapping your wings. You're flying through becoming weightless through defying gravity through relaxing and shifting into the state where you are weightless through letting go of your fear through letting go of your attraction to the planet you just lift up because you don't weigh anymore. So keep breathing. And remember this state of being weightless. Being able to shift, to move, to glide above the ground. At will. Because it is a natural state of you to glide. It is a forgotten natural state of you to shift around, to move around by simply gliding in air. It only requires peace of mind, relaxation of all muscles, relaxation of your physicality. 
relaxation of your fears, detachment from your, from your attachment to earth, detachment from earth. You just need to detach and become a wayless body which can shift at will through acceptance, through understanding of higher power, higher plan, higher energies, higher flows. So flying is achieved through living in the flow, through being in the flow. When you understand higher purpose of your life, of all lives, of the life on earth, of the earth experiment, when you understand the higher purpose and become aligned with this purpose, when you get in the flow, in the inner hidden flow of energies, when you get in this inner flow of energies, you become able to move freely, because you become like a sailing ship in a wind, in a friendly wind. You can use this flow of energies to move around, because you serve, you are becoming one with a hidden flow of energies. You get in the flow. You serve it. So your will becomes connected, integrated, and uh, syn synergistic, resonant with the divine energies, with the divine game, with the divine plane. When you become one, with the will of God, when, with, when you become one with nature, when you get in the flow of energies, you just return to the ability to shift around and glide around easily, waylessly, freely. All this dream of humanity of flying, of waylessness, weightlessness, becomes from the ancient memory of being able to fly. Now people try to fly on the planes, on gliders, skydiving. It's all trying to reproduce what is natural for you. In the past, humans were able to fly easily, glide easily, effortlessly. It was natural, much easier than walking and running. Now you still, can, still have a connection to that in your dreams. So relax into flying. Enjoy flying. Be happy. Don't be weighed down by sorrow, by this despair, by fear and anger, by sickness. Fly, relax, move up. You are a flying bee by desire. You fly easier than birds. You fly easier than fish swim in the water because they still use muscles and you are able to fly without muscles, just at will, without wasting any energy, without spending any energy because it is a movement that doesn't require energy. It is just a way of you becoming one with the matrix and moving in the matrix with ease. You are a flying being. Awaken to that. Awaken. And use it for your upliftment in a dream.
Make the dream work for the ascension. Make your dreams and meditations work for the ascension through flying, through flying, through flying. You can fly. You're great at flying. You're designed to fly. Happy flying. Happy flying. Happy flying. Allah Nahum Nahum. Allah Nahum. Allah Nahum. Allah Nahum. With this, I wish you happy flying and till next time. Goodbye.